<laughs> Many individuals mistake artifice for detritus. While they may sound the same, they are different. Detritus is something here. Uh, while artifice is something here. <laughs> Take, for instance, if you will, and I hope you do, the simple everyday sound of a phone ringing. This is how it really sounds. Bring. 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 And this is how it could sound in movies using artifice. Ring. 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 Now let's say I was waiting for an important call. I would look at my watch. Listen for the ring. Ring. Hello, ring. And engage the caller in a conversation. Yellow. Yes. Someone is coming to kill me. I should leave immediately. There is not much time. Thank you. I will. You have just witnessed how artifice is used to heighten the drama of AC. Put this right down here. Thank you. Now, let us go one step further and illustrate the use of artifice in a one on one dialogue. Hello, my name is Mr. Overdub. What is yours? Hmm, I was sent here to kill him. I will give him an alias. My name is John. Thank you. You're welcome. You have just seen how artifice can be used to reveal special information about a protagonist. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, the amazing art of artifice can make even the most observant person unaware that he is not actually seeing what he is believing. Did you know this is not my real voice? This is! Tricked you, didn't I? I have been Mr. Overdub for Public Television Access Classroom. Be seeing you! <laughs> Uh, turn, hey, turn it off. What are you doing? And now, a strange visitor from another planet who has come to our puny Earth to give us strange and weird words of wisdom. Please welcome Mr. Proton. <laughs> I am Mr. Proton. Mr. Proton will answer a letter from a hapless Earth viewer. The viewer writes, Dear Mr. Proton, my wife and I have invested in a retirement condo in the Rossmore area. But no matter how much we clean and struggle, we are still vulnerable to the deadly photon bombings that will obliterate all civilized life. What are we to do? I, Mr. Proton, will now divine the answer to your query. In order to divine the answer to the query, Mr. Proton must have his special Mr. Proton music. Have you divined the answer to the query? I, Mr. Proton, team, Mr. Proton, have now divined the answer to your query. Then a 
it's time for another feature. Mr. Proton will round out the evening by singing his favorite Earth song with lyrics he has adapted to his own purposes. from Charles Dickens, The Pickwick Papers. Yes, Charles Dickens, T Pickwick Papers. Well, day after day, when school was over and the pupils gone, did Nathaniel Pitkin sit himself at the front window and while he feigned to be reading a book, throw sidelong glances over the way in search of the bright eyes of Maria Loves. <laughs> 